All right, guys, doing the very, very, very final on our GT40 race project. And it's really all, all said and done. And then I took a look through the water passages. Yeah, I had to pop a hole through that. There is casting flash, like, really, really badly on the inside of these water ports. And I already started grinding, grinding some of it out in the other head. Okay, may not be the easiest thing in the world to see, if we can see it at all. But that port has all been cleared. Now, why is it important to get the casting flash out of there? Especially when it, you know, it basically divides that entire chamber. I mean, you can see where I poked the, the burr through that to start working on it. And then I'm like, you know what? I think I want to show the guys this because this is important, especially on something that's going to be endurance raced. <sighs> if we take a look at some of the casting flash without touching it. Okay, see those jagged, sharp edges? That could start a crack. And it's iron to begin with. And it's going to be raced really hard. We need to take care of that as much as possible. Very similar to Brian Salter's, uh, one of his later videos where he was working on the bottom end of a, a main cap. Same idea. Okay, you need to eliminate as many stress rises as possible. Now, I personally have never seen a casting this bad before. It needs tons of work. Okay, this is the water port on the other side. You can see I started working on it. Plenty, plenty of casting flesh that needs to be removed before you can send it out to the customer. Now, as far as the size of these water ports, these are extra big water ports to begin with. I already told the customer he's probably going to need custom gaskets because these, between the way the manifold and these heads were cast, they are definitely a little offset and an extra tall port. And the water port is extra big, so... That may need some work. Now, I didn't make the water port any bigger. You can see I just kind of cleaned up a little bit of the flash around it. Well, this one, too. It's it's even a little bit different shaped water port than that one. Even things like this really need to be looked at. Anything you're going to be a higher than average uh, output really needs to be gone through. I mean, you can see this, what, these were done once. There's still some relatively sharp edges that need to be taken care of before it's completely finished. Sharp edges on iron are really a no-no. Every surface really needs to be looked at. And the smoother a radius you put on it, the more fatigue life it'll have, the better it'll be. Less chance of a crack to start. Okay, maybe tough to see through all that. You can see the light through that water passage. Let's move to another one. Okay, that's all the light you can get through that passage. All right, it's it will make a difference. Remember, the, the better the water flow is through the head, the cooler the chamber will stay. Temperature chamber is, I mean, you know, the temperature of the chamber is something that we never really hear of, okay? Now, there are plenty of guys that like to polish a chamber. I used to polish chambers for ages, okay? Now, I wind up doing a little textured uh, chamber because I want that fuel to break up. And does it lose some thermal efficiency that way? Yeah, it, it actually absorbs a little more heat. But if I'm getting more out of the fuel, I figure it's okay. I would rather have the fuel broken up not to have lean spots, because a lean spot's going to cause detonation and you're going to have a problem. So that's kind of my logic on that. If you disagree with that, put it in the comments and we'll have a little discussion about it. Okay, pause button got me again, so who knows where this is right now. But uh, you can see this by the exhaust port here. Okay, that needs that needs some work. Okay, it is kind of nice that the Welch plugs or freeze-out plugs are not in this head, so you can get to both ends relatively well, and they need plenty of work. Okay, now this is the exhaust port. 
moving down, you can see how far that, that basically that whole section is divided with water flow. All right, guys, give me your opinion on, uh, on this because I'm interested in what, uh, what you guys have to say. I think we're going to, uh, we're going to stop this here. We're going to have to do some editing on it because I know the pause button got me, but, uh, yeah, as I'm going through these and I'm getting, I'm ready to get out the door. I'm like, Oh, look at that water port. It's a mess. And then you start and then you see the other head is even worse. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to be doing some grinding on these before I finally wash them and get them all set. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.